his end is more heavy, but he has more power, so he has more potential of taking stocks earlier. Exactly. And that's the trade-off here, but for Alec, man, the trade-off is... <laughs> there is no trade-off for Luigi. He has no no uh, other character other than Waluigi, who may or may not be in this game. We'll know what the next character is, but like I said, the combos that Luigi is able to get against a character like Dr. Mario goes to show what a way to wait up for the get-up option, because you know that T-Day wants to go for that to get Elegant off the ledge. But what a read on the recovery. That's a back air, and that is the stock. Yep, that's stock. Well, as you can see, Elegant is actually is, uh, definitely going for the grabbing ledge to just protecting the stage with his aerials. He definitely, he definitely knows this matchup a lot that with what Dr. Mario struggles, it's with dealing with edge guarding. Exactly. In, in a sense here, Dr. Mario has traded Mario has traded being a combo team to being a glass cannon. But what one two punch? Remember what I said, man. That is a truck that will hit you, and you can see it in that knockback all the way, pretty much from center stage. Going for that back here, though. Ooh, that back though as well. Getting elegant off stage, but you know your boy elegant always making it back. Goes for the nair. Interesting spot dodge right afterwards. I think he he was expecting T Day to shield it, is what I'm guessing. Goes for the down throw and the cyclone, true combo. Yeah, and, and it's, no, it's, it's mostly true if your opponent is going for options like the way that we see from T Day. That's true. Trying to get away from it. You have to also be careful if you go for an air dodge because the, the cyclone can be like an air dodge if you're not ready. Yep. Right. Oh, goes for that jump, uh, that descending back here right there. As you can see, Elegant is using these plungers a lot, like as we as a uh, gameplay that we saw from Con Con earlier. Goes for the back though. Isn't gonna kill yet because you because Dr. Mario's got all that equipment in his in his coat. Oh, yeah, man. You see that stethoscope? It's not for show, man. It's his ability to know how your heart rate <laughs> is going. And you know that Elegant's heart rate is always moving at a pace as he always tries to stay one step ahead against his opponents with his momentum. As you can see, the projectiles did clank against each other. I, I am not seeing too many uh, projectiles being thrown from T-Day, surprisingly. Since Elegant is trying to stay away himself, I feel like T-Day should also take advantage of it and go for... Uh, of throwing the pills himself. Yeah, the pills will slow. Remember, the best way to slow down your opponent is a way to throw in projectiles. And if the pills can slow down Elegant, that'll be good for T-Day, man. But Elegant shows no signs of slowing down. T-Day with a quick up B, man, evening up the stocks. Oh, just mi missing that plunger. Trying to go for that dash attack. Very unsafe, but that was a good choice of doing that spot dodge right after and reading the grab. Ooh, the tech, the tech chase. That's, these side tilts are forcing Elegant to tech, or just he's just not able to do anything pretty much. If he does try to go for an air dodge, it's uh, not going to do well. Oh, double spot dodge there to avoid some stuff from Elegant. Okay, pretty much even stocks here, and almost even percent separating the two. Elegant is trying to find a way to poke in from that plunger. No opportunity to see it, but he, he takes a chance here with that dash tech. There was not going to be any chances after that plunger because it was a little bit too late. What a grab. What a play here with that forward air to get him off the stage here. Not that strong of a play, but you know Oh, he tried to ledge trump right there. Yeah. Elegant is making plays to see if he can get anything going on. Uh, he's trying to go for the, that rising back air. Goes out the fireball and the cyclone. Wow. Not enough here. 136. T-Day has that rage. Dr. Mario with rage and not like man is a recipe for disaster. If Elegant is not ready, there's the back air pill. I like that. T-Day trying to see if he can bait out that, that an aerial with the up smash. Elegant having to make it back to stage. Elegant has oh, to watch his landing here. Oh, that back air though. That was a good choice of using the double jump, but he did land on the platform. I feel like he should have fell through. Instead, he's going to use that green missile. Another one. Jump to the... Oh my gosh, that... And oh. dash attack did two frame. Looks like Elegant's having a lot of time, is struggling a lot here. Oh, actually dropping down from ledge using the fireball. Using a lot uh, fireballs a lot more since he is at very high percent. Maybe a back throw could kill. I could see that uh, happening, but it's gonna be hard. 
because it, as you can see, T Day is knowing, it does know that he's trying to go for this grab. Yeah, T Day knows one silly mistake here. That could be elegant taking it. Oh, oh I like that. Oh my goodness. No, it was, there was going to be no punish from Dr. Mario. Remember, he's too a lot slow. Of, yeah, a little bit too slow on the starter frame, so T Day played it safe. As you can see, they're just staying away from each other. They're we got a minute and 40. I don't think it'll go to time. Oh, but it will go to wow. that back air. It will go to that back air, ladies and gentlemen. And San Diego popping off as T-Day takes game one over Elegant. Wow, as you can see, the entire venue kind of popped off right there when they saw that back air. Oh, yeah, man. San, for context, man, San Diego has to drive an hour to, no, I think like two to three hours oh, yeah. to get to MSM, man. If they're making the drive, they want to see one of their boys make it up. And it's usually AC and Phoenix, but T-Day is also one of them who is coming up and taking game one at least over Galligan as it was down to pretty much the neutral exchange. Yeah, that, that was a very st scary gameplay. I could only imagine uh, how both players' mindsets were going because I would have that was I started panicking at that point. Yeah. I right. guess for the down throw. Okay, combos. Okay, good, good. DI inward to just avoid uh, having that damage racked up on himself. Yeah, and it is the directional air dodge that you see from T-Day using that air dodge to move a little bit away from that dash pack. Oh, he did try to go for that um, the uppy, but it it didn't connect. Uh, no T-Day wasn't standing still. That was a good up smash there, but it, it isn't gonna kill. It does, it does do, I believe, the most damage out of all of his smash attacks, especially yeah. the back of the head. Yep, and that will be a toy cycle there. Not going to be enough to kill T-Day here, living at 137. There is a large percentage gap separating the two, but T-Day with the back air and the edge to himself here. Can he get in there with that fireball stopping him in his tracks? Elegant has a lot to fight for here. Going for the back throw, yeah, this this is what happened last time. Elegant lost stage control, and he, and he struggled with getting it back. Going for the forward throw and throwing plungers, as you can see. Elegant does go off stage, but he just uses it for the fun to interrupt T-Day at, uh, at any moment. And that's kind of the difference that I hope for those of you guys who are still watching from the Con Con set. You can actually see the difference between Elegant and Con Con, as we do have them both on how they both came up on the stream. Elegant very strong with tech skill and momentum, and he takes that all the way to the forefront of his opponent. It's a snowball of damage that Elegant can do. But T-Day knows if I avoid that snowball, if I'm cautious around, I can take it here, but that missed forward smash I'm gonna attempt here. We'll give Elegant the stage and the control here as he's still got three stocks. No up smash and a couple clanks to boot. T-Day off the stage and he loses his footing. Oh, here. and he taunts, okay. Let's see, oh. He's like, he, I, I can see him, he's, he nodded. He's like, I deserve that, I deserve that. <laughs> he knows he was not gonna get away from that ledge for free. Oh! Double down air? No! Oh, wait, he, oh. oh, I thought I thought he saved him. And just the very, very edge of that up man. Elegant moving up. One, one apiece here. It's game three between both these players, man. Some strong game threes tonight. I'm, I'm yeah, telling man, you. Many game threes tonight. Many, many. Yeah, and there's some of the strongest we've seen, of course. We have K9 and White Nova. We had Con Con and Cyro, and now we have Elegant and T-Day. Uh, Cyro obviously getting it over Con Con. And to many eyes, it would be K9 getting the upset over White Nova, because White Nova is, of course, the up and comer. And K9 has become a Valorant player, but we'll see here if T Day is able to put an upset against Elegant, or will Elegant deny any possibility of an upset here, as this is game three. I mean, if T Day is going to pull an upset, I would be expecting a lot of people watching, because I feel like if that's going to happen, you know, you know it's going to come down to less situations. You know who's watching, man? San Diego, and they are glued their seats to see if one of their boys out here is able to get an upset today. Like I said, Kide, he's got a number four. We'll see if Elegant is going to be another name. Elegant, Elegant getting back to stage. Oh, yeah, you can see Kide trying to go for those two frames right there. Good parry of the pill. Goes for the down throw. Oh, and the up B. Okay, I see you, Elegant. All right, stopping Kide in his tracks before he gets any opportunities to respond. As you can see, T Day's just trying to stay away and try to wait for Elegant to make a mistake right now. Yeah, and that, speaking of mistake, right, that attack on the shield, that's going to be a mistake. Up from Mario will be the get off me option. That's for the up tilts. Almost got those up airs. And that Dr. Cycle, that Dr. Tornado does come out. And the Luigi Cyclone.
comes out as well. Oh, with the back air from the top side of the stage. That was a good well. choice with the down there. Smash. I like that. Stop Luigi in his tracks before he can even get that edge guard. Have something that your opponent has to interact with. Oh, he did try to go for that back air right there. Ooh, okay. T Day's at 77%. That, that's a good advantage for Elegant. Even the Mario can do damage. Dr. Mario can do damage. He is at high enough percent for Elegant to have a, a higher chances of taking the second stock first. I like that. Check the shield with one, two punch. Get the grab and get the punish. And that's good understanding to force T-Day to let go of shield. He says if you want, like, that's a really, it's honestly a really good way to check him. Given the circumstance of where his opponent is at the ledge and the percent altogether, Elegant knows how to make those small openings count. Yeah, as you've been saying, people in San Diego, they w I feel like many people would uh, definitely uh, pop off if T-Day did pull this win. Goes for, he does go for the jab two and reads the, the tech with the dash tech. It is getting the win for T-Day, but the question is how does he get it with Elegant being so relentless? Not giving T-Day the opportunity. There is a missed up there coming up for a cross up there, but T-Day having no chances just yet. Oh, you trying to go for that nair? Oh, and no. the up B go, getting down throw. I like okay. that. Wait for the landing on the platform. Elegant with patience. T-Day, he has to find something here. Goes for a long awaited possible empty hop or a delayed aerial, but Elegant had enough time to respond. That is the and cyclone, the and that is the sock. That will be it here. Elegant, no upsets against T-Day. It will be Elegant moving up 